I feel like it's pretty safe to say that it is safe to say that Seth Rollins has had an interesting year. Because on the one hand, the WWE has thrown a lot of weight behind him. And I mean a lot of weight behind him. In spite of the odds, in spite of, in spite of logic, in spite of common sense and good basic reason, all that hasn't mattered. He beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at WrestleMania. Then after he loses the strap, he comes back and he beats Brock Lesnar again at SummerSlam. Now think about this for a second. When the hell did Roman Reigns ever beat Brock Lesnar clean? Yet Seth Rollins does it twice in the same calendar year at arguably your two biggest shows of the year. Certainly your biggest show of the year in WrestleMania. And based off of the way they treat it, you can go either Royal Rumble or SummerSlam. Well, let's say your third biggest show of the year in SummerSlam. But Roman's the one that was always getting forced. Give me a break. But he's getting featured spots, he's getting lots of run, he's beaten Brock Lesnar twice, like he's got Becky Lynch and they're engaged. So all of this stuff going for Seth Rollins. And yet, on the other hand, during the course of this year, he has come across as insecure, incredibly immature, frankly, a bit of an ass. And if anybody knows about being an ass, it's me. And just in general, kind of in over his head and not worthy and deserving of the spot that he's being given by WWE as a face of their company, and yet they continue to persist. And here we are, almost damn into October, and we're talking about Seth Rollins again, and not because he drew a great house, not because he popped the ratings big time, not because of a reunion show where you had a big faction in the ring like the combination of DX and the Click and Seth Rollins didn't look like an out-of-place nerd. We're talking about Seth Rollins because of his social media account and what has happened on his social media account and what he has done with his social media account. Like if this isn't the red flag, warning, 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 danger, 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 Vince McMahon that maybe this guy isn't worthy of the spot, I don't know what the hell is going to get the point across. So late in this week, he takes a shot at Sasha Banks. You guys probably watching this know better than I do because, to be fair, I'm catching up on the back end of all of this. She responds. Then her stands go after him. And lo and behold, what didn't you know, Seth Rollins deletes his Twitter account or makes it private or whatever the hell. Whatever the hell. I never thought we'd get to the point when talking about professional wrestling where we're talking about social media accounts being a big story. It's just weird. It's just weird. But I personally didn't see the back and forth until after the fact, reading online and so forth, and trying to piecemeal what people are saying on Twitter. So I cannot necessarily say for certain that I saw myself whether Sasha's fans or stands were making any death threats towards Seth Rollins and his family or not. I'm not here to pass judgment on whether that happened or not, because ultimately I do not know. And based off of what I've seen, I have seen a lot of conflicting um, details. I've seen a lot of conflicting opinions, a lot of conflicting reports on it. So I don't know what to think. Knowing wrestling fans and knowing how these things work, like through the course of the almost nine years of doing this, I've received death threats. And I am nowhere near as big of a deal as a Seth Rollins or a Sasha Banks. Henceforth, as a result, I, I would be inclined to believe that there probably were a few physical threats of violence and actions from a bunch of keyboard warriors. That would not doubt me for a single solitary second. But what a sad state of affairs that we've gotten into, that the guy who is the champion of the brand of Raw the, still at the moment at least, until we see what happens with SmackDown and Fox, the most important brand of the company, 
is getting so bothered and so upset about what people say and respond to him via social media that he is deleting, deactivating his Twitter account. Now, we could certainly use this as a moment for everybody to pause and reflect and say, hey, are some of these things that we get so worked up about really that big of a deal? How do we conduct ourselves out there on the interwebs without a lot of fear of ramifications or repercussions? Could we conduct ourselves better? Could we be a little more civil towards each other? Could we agree to disagree better? Probably all of that is true. But then you have somebody like a Seth Rollins who ends up being a vindication, a validation of what a lot of older generations who have no room to damn talk say about freaking millennials. They're entitled, they're soft, they're weak, and all of that. And it's stuff like this that validates those opinions. It's stuff like this that validates those stereotypes. My goddamn dude, you are a seven-figure TV star. Grow a set. If what people are saying really bothers you that much, then be like some of the other bitches within professional wrestling and just block people. Or even better, even better. Here's an idea. If you don't want to know what people say about you, don't read it. And if you are so consumed by what other people say about you, that's not a them problem, that is a you problem, and you need to figure out how the hell to get over it. Because at this point in time, if you are in the position that you're in, in spite of all the assery that you've shown this year, then you should feel pretty secure in yourself, your talents, and your position for the long term within WWE. So why in the hell would you care if a few or a few hundred loser-ass Sasha Banks stands sat there and threatened physical violence against you? What, from a bunch of fat neckbeards or 14-year-old teeny bopper pre-teen training bra girls? The hell is wrong with you? I understand in society, there's so much being done to try and chip away at masculinity. And no, let me clarify. Just because I say that, it doesn't mean that it's okay for you to sit there and catcall girls and whistle at them and smack them on the ass and tell them, at a girl. You do it the man's way. You smack the man on the ass and you tell him that's a good game. I'm like, how is that a masculine thing? It's just like in sports. Men don't devote their own lot, whole lives ultimately to win a ring. In the NFL, in the NBA, Major League Baseball, hockey, men beat the hell out of their bodies, beat the hell out of each other to win a ring. Yet I digress. But there is an element of masculinity that should be okay. And part of being a man is knowing when to hold them, knowing when to fold them, and knowing when it's okay that people aren't always going to agree with you, that people are not going to always like you. No matter what you do, you cannot please everyone. So you do the best you can, and you move the hell on with your life. This obsession with what people are saying about you, oh my God, you're giving death threats. 20, 30 years ago, wrestlers would have lived for death threats. They used to get freaking stabbed in the ass and they got shot at. They had riots. Fans trying to come into the ring and test them and fight them when they were going through the crowd and shit. Now because somebody said something mean to me on social media, I'm going to totally withdraw. We can focus and talk about fan behavior and fan tweets and all of this and all of that. But it doesn't deal with the deeper-seated issue here with Seth Rollins. He's an incredible level of immaturity and insecurity and flat-out assery. If you don't like what people say, block them, mute them, or even better, DON'T FREAKING WORRY ABOUT IT! And, and, if you want to go to that level, you do want to pay attention to it, THEN EMBRACE IT! Use it as something to fuel your fire. Use it as something to motivate you. Use it as something to drive you to continue to get better and improve. We've now gotten to this point in society where people can't handle fucking feedback. We've gotten to this point in society where people can't handle criticism without getting butt hurt. 
He should be able to look at somebody successful like a Seth Rollins, and there's no question he's successful, even if he truly doesn't fully deserve it. And based off of his actions and his conduct outside of the wrestling ring this year, you most certainly could question whether or not Seth Rollins deserves it. It's like, nut up and be a man about it. Either come out swinging and take them head on and make them cower like bitches, ignore it because it doesn't matter, or embrace the shit. Running away with a tail between your legs like a damn coward only makes you look like a bigger punk ass. And frankly, we got enough punk asses in professional wrestling. We can use some men and we can use some tough ass people for a damn change. 